Hey there, God bless you. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a Mel. Did you already subscribe to my channel? If no, please kindly do that right now. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word or there is um, a release of a fresh content, be it a live session or a prophetic word, you will not miss out. God bless you as you do that. Believe me, family, this is no coincidence. If you are just joining, this is no coincidence. God would have been leading you here for something really beautiful. And I pray that you should stick around long enough to know why God sent you here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel excited in my spirit. So excited because of the prophetic word I'm about to release. God bless all my family here on YouTube. Um, that's my subscribers. I love you so much. You are the reason why I am here. God bless you for me tremendously. God says you are about to receive your flowers. God says you are about to receive your flowers. That's some good news. Immediately, this word dropped in my spirit. What came to my mind was the life of David. You know, some of us, we have that kind of life. We have been behind the scene fighting a lot of battles. Look at David. He was the youngest of the family, yet he was the one taking care of sheep in the forest. And he was exposed to all kinds of wild animals. Imagine, he had to fight a bear. He had to fight a lion. And no one gave him credit for that. No one appreciated him for that. No one recognized him for that. Apparently, no one even knew about it. And the day he met Goliath, that was the day God wanted to bless him for all the things he had been fighting on the background. Hallelujah. I feel so blessed just re releasing this prophetic word. I feel so blessed. I feel like, this is a word in season for someone. God is giving you your flowers. You have fought a lot of battles on the background. And no one told you thank you for them. You have done so many things that no one appreciated you. And sometimes it could really be tiring. Not like you are working because you need people's appreciation. Or you need people's approval. But sometimes just a thank you. Just a well done. Can go a long way to make us feel you know, refresh, can make us feel, um, um, have the ability to push, have the ability to keep going. And sometimes you even wait for to hear someone appreciate your, your effort so that it can, you know, boost your morale. You just need a word of encouragement, but it is not coming. Do not worry, child of God. God is about to give you your flowers. For David, it was Goliath. You know, David fought the bear with his bare hands. He did not have any weapon. The lion, he fought with his bare hands. He did not have any weapon. It was more fierce and more risky for him to be there. Yet he did that and left unrecognized. Nobody acknowledged. Nobody appreciated him. Now he was faced with Goliath. This Philistine had terrorized the whole of Israel. No one was courageous enough to fight him. And David comes and he's about to do just the same thing he's been doing in the, in the forest and no one saw. He's about to fight Goliath. And God told him, this is the time of your reward, David. This is the time where you get an, an, an accolade for all the things you have been done. But, but I, I promise you, you're not going to work that hard. You're not going to do much. You will just take a move. You will just take a step and I'm going to back you up. And so, David defeated Goliath with just one stone. He didn't get into a physical confrontation with Goliath. From afar, he shot just a sling. And Goliath, it, it, took, it, on the, it took Goliath on the forehead and he died. And this was the greatest victory that was celebrated of David. As a matter of fact, the women started going about and singing, celebrating. Uh, um, David killed 10,000, Saul killed 8,000 because of that. 
he did not have to do much god is speaking to someone right now you have done a lot sacrificed a lot for people you have done so much yet you are never appreciated you have gone out of your way you have put your 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 life on the line put yourself at risk just to make sure that some people have a better life and yet you have not been appreciated god says this time around you will not do much you will just take a step and he's going to amplify your efforts he's going to do it so much so that everybody who sees it is going to know that yes this is the moment for your appreciation god is giving you your flowers because it's well deserved you have done more than enough and i got to learn that the things that god uses to bless us sometimes are not compared to the things we have been through maybe you have gone through a lot trying to make ends meet you have done all kinds of job all kinds of menial and odd jobs just to survive when god looks your direction when he he wants to bless you he takes something that is almost insignificant and just blesses it and give it to you that is about to be someone's testimony you have gone to the ends of the earth in trying to you know gain approval in trying to do things that are going to outlive you but it did not happen this time around god himself is the one that has decided to honor you you will not have to do much you will just have to avail yourself and god will take over and god will do amazingly what you never 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 expected hallelujah yes the bible says when you are doing good in well doing do not be weary for in due time you are going to get your reward in well doing do not be weary for in due time you are going to get your reward and that due time is now for you and i pray it manifests speedily in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in jesus mighty name amen